All right, people. So this is the first week of the leak. So every single week before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and explain what happened in the previous week, how many points each team has, and, uh, you know, the placement they are. So, of course, this is the first week, so no one's earned any points, but I can just go ahead and tell you guys the division. So, here is the top division, or the YCS division. So, we have the Yuma Utopians, the Yuya Pendulum Dragons, the Kite Galaxy Sotons, and the Kaiba White Dragons, of course, all with zero points. And in the lower division, or the regionals division... We have the Yusei Star Dragons, the Yugi Dark Magicians, the Jack Red Arts Fiends, and the Zane Star Dragons, all with zero points, because of course it's the first week. So uh, next week I will go ahead and uh, update it, put first place, second place, third place, fourth place respectively, and update you each week about the points and the standings every single week. So I hope that you guys are excited for it. So be sure to support this video and all the videos in the league by liking and favoriting and spreading the word about this league. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. All right. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> the guests are coming to watch. <laughs> All right, people. <laughs> so welcome to uh, Season 1, Week 1, Match 1. of the one. <laughs> of all the one. No, all the one. Yeah. So for the first video of the league, we have... Uh, well, paper, scissors, win one. Ryan representing the Kaiba White Dragons versus Lunar with the Kite... Uh, was it Galaxy? Galaxy Photons. Galaxy Photons, yeah. Although you, you came up with the, most of the names and you fucking can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ryan decided oh, to go ahead and use his tier 1 deck, Klebola. Yes, Klebola. Right away, just right out the gate. Uh, yeah, right out of the way. Summoners are van. And Linda decided to go ahead and go with his tier 3 deck, Madoches. So, to try and get them extra points. Uh, yeah, so, so if Lunar wins this, he gets three points. He just starts it all, jumps out of the gate with three points. But, of course, if Ryan wins, then he will get only one point. So, you know, it's risk with reward. But of course, you know, when you use your tier one decks, you're, of course, more likely to win. But you only get one point. Well, if you risk the biscuit and, you know, pull off the win, then, yeah, you get to go ahead and get three whole points. That, that's like three victories with a tier one deck. So, yeah. it looks like he is, a, you know... Putting on his helmet. <laughs> it's time. It's helmet time. All right. It's like Boo Jin's just put our fucking crash helmet on. Fucking ready. <laughs> All, right. All right. So the so, sacrifice looks like he hasn't got Wave Run guys first turn tower turbo, which is a good eye, good thing for Luna. Yeah, that's a good thing. Because he <laughs> dropped that tower turbo. Tower turbo. That's the <laughs> GG. That's it. Luna just scoop your cards up. You ain't getting over it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Unless he's got specifically cards in his side deck for it. Okay, okay. Well, it's clearly one of them cards facing down. It's obvious what it is. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> why the fuck would you ever put that carrier as your pendulum scale unless you had that wavering eyes? Yeah, I know. All right, so... Mewfully, well, uh... Well, we see a lose one turn. <laughs> I know. Effect? Is that okay? <laughs> are these guys in the same tier? I think these guys are in the same well, tier, not same tier, the same division? For the love of God, I, I, I put the divisions. Well, Klee is in division one, and what does Lunar have? What's his What's his tier one deck? Uh, Lunar's tier one deck, let me look at, it, look at it real quick. Yeah, go ahead and look at it. For the love of God, I cannot remember what division uh, Kite is and I know I know Kaiba is tier one. I know that. I mean, well, YCS division because Cleese, but mm. what, what was Lunar's? I'm trying to look for it now. <laughs> so much text. Wow, okay. Is this man actually gonna go ahead and go into what's their face instead? Looks like it. Paris, Parasacloid. All right. Oh, damn. Damn, he actually summoned fucking Chokala mode. And the bottomless. Ouch. Oh, ouch. ouch. Yep. Ouch. Shame. Yep. I seriously don't know what's up with going into Chokala mode. Like, is it just me? But what was he going with that? He was probably just trying to push for some extra damage and stuff like that and get a Tiramisu out because it can help also get a Tiramisu out. So basically what you can end up with is a Chocoala mode and a Tiramisu ready to go on your field at once, you know. So that's always a good thing. And then you can you could just use Tiramisu to shuffle away the Scout and the uh, 
What's it? The sacrifice. Oh, broke charge. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom list, of course, you know, we can't get I'm this I'm trying to look perfect. it up, but there's te so much text in that Skype chat. So why don't you just go to the video and check the description? I'm going to now, yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> like this, man. Alright, so it looks like he's going to push for another XC with the powerful cell charge. And I said, we tried to get the league right, but, you know, number generator is still a thing. We can't control that. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to go ahead and summon another Chocolata mode. Uh, I, w I want to see. I want to see this because I'm not really sure what's up with her. So yeah, they're in the same division. Okay. All right. So mm -hmm. well, you can target women. Dolce card in your graveyard. Shuffle into your deck. Well, this card has a uh, going to the same material. When a Dolce card in your graveyard, shuffle into your main deck. You can see material special on one Dolce face up attack position or face down defense position. All right. Yeah. So, That's yeah. what makes it so good. And then it just leads into more uh, tiara missiles. Yeah. So, not bad. I mean, it kind of so, sucks that you got to play uh, pudding sets, but as long as you got that insta fusion to go into that parasycloid and actually make her, not bad. Not mm -hmm. bad at all. Also, uh, they're running the dog as well, from what I've seen. Like, they'll go mutually and summon and stuff like that. Like, they run the dog and they bounce, like, a Medulce ticket or the field spell back to make it level 5 as well. So. Yeah, we do that. Looks like he's about to go ham. Go ahead and go into that, uh... uh that, uh... X Saber? Yeah. Yeah, X Saber Invoker. I, I forget his name. But in, yeah, Invoker. Yeah, that's it. I forget his name. I just know it's an X Saber. Oh. Oh. He doesn't want it. I guess he doesn't want him. I guess maybe he's gonna go... Yeah, Striker and that mm -hmm. instead. We were trying to think of a rule of how far in back you could take plays, but, you know... I'd say that as was long fair. as it's not. Yeah, I'd say that's fine. I'd say one step's fine. I'd yeah. say anything more than one step's when we have to start wondering. Yeah, because like in like in a tournament, you've already committed to the play. You know, just because of building on DM doesn't mean you could take all your plays back. So. Although, like I say, it really wouldn't have made much of a difference to be honest with you if he had gone. You know, and taking it back, it really, really didn't make much of a difference. He's still going to end up with so the Ryan same opened up pretty well with Cleese, but Lunar just, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I told you, those Medolches, I told you, they're fucking good with that Chocolate Moat. You're like, oh, that's an alright card. I'm like, no, it's it's stupid good. Yeah, well, uh. Like oh, I he's said, obviously got Season one, of course, is a test, you know. Yeah. You know, depending on how Lunar dies and how stupid he does with Medolches, we can always kick up Medolches. He might get to it to tier, tier two, two. two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you too, I, I feel like I kind of forgot yeah. about it, but yeah, <laughs> but that's fine. We need taking advantage of our mistakes. Mm -hmm. so. oh, the yeah, wavering the eyes. Wavering All right. Eyes. Well, you got to select your targets, right? You take some materials and target up to two Medusa cards in your graveyard. Then he chains wavering eyes. Shuffle those targets back. Okay. Mm. See, yep, told you. Of course, yeah, wavering eyes. Yep, so pop the scout, grab a scout. So, yep, get rid of them. Back to the deck. And you take 500. Damn. Damn, I mean, I know we we pretty much allowed it to uh, be a tier 3 deck. Look at all the points he's going to get if he wins like a boss. Yeah, I know. But he oh, has this to, is only game one. Yeah, this is only game one. You know, yeah. so you know, he still has to luck out from that uh, tower turbo. He, he could, uh, what's it? Ryan could side in if he's not that XYZ Encore. Such a good card. So underrated. I'm not sure if he signed it in the side deck. I mean, I can't yeah, confirm that. I don't, I don't remember if he did. Also, uh, I think I was I think I think was asked uh, at the end of the season if uh, we're going to do deck profiles. Uh, for right now, I'm not sure if, you know, I'll sit Maybe. there and do the deck profile or I'll interview the person, you know, like have them call me pretty much. I think it would be best to interview the person, but I think it would be best to get the top three rather than everyone. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, because that would be like, what, yeah. 24 deck profiles? That's a lot. Yeah, I think top three with each of their decks, and that's like your, that's like for uh, the people who come second and third, like their sort of reward per se. You know what I mean? All right. Wait. Choco is it once per turn? Uh, I don't believe it is. What's no, once per turn, to... target one Medulce card in grave, shuffle it. 
While this card has Medoche Pony sets and material, when Medoche card in your graveyard is shuffled back into your main deck, you can attach Xe material, especially something with Medoche card in your deck. Yeah, but putting Cess wasn't on it. Yeah, time. putting Cess wasn't on it, Luna. Hold on, Luna. Hold, hold on, on, hold on, hold on. Losing, you, 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 putting Cess was not on that card. Hold on, Luna. Did you message him? I'm saying in the watchers chat. I'm not sure if he's watching, actually. Right. You you PM him, tell him to watch the watchers chat. Uh, yeah, I would say. Yeah. Alright, he clearly knows what to say. <laughs> it, she lost her sex, so no kitty cat. No, get back to that deck. Alright. Lunar gets no pussy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't do it. <laughs> okay. You can't be saying things like that. Mm, do you want to allow him to take the material back or not? Yeah, he can't even detach yeah. it. He yeah. can detach. No, he can't. He can't. Oh, no, he can't, man. He can't even detach it, so. Does this man... What? Oh, Soul Charge. I would say, does this man not even attack? <laughs> All right, so Ryan's not out of this. He's not out of it. He has a scout. He drew into some random card. You know, tier well, How many has he got in his extra? I think he's only got two, though. He's he's got. I think he has two. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mm, mm. Yeah, but the problem is, what's he going to do now? Pendulum summon two, and then he can't see. Pendulum summon search. Well, of course, uh, scout is going to search. That is a dirty top deck. That was a dirty one. So, he yeah. can Pungeon Summon. If he has two, then, you know, simple stealth. Not bad, you know? Oh, yeah. And without Banker or Lunar, none of Lunar's monsters can touch a stealth. So, I don't know. That was a dirty, that was a dirty top deck. It really was. Yeah, that's, that's Yu-Gi-Oh for you, though. You know, Lunar put up that nice play, but is it enough to take out a Tier 1 deck, you know? It's a risk reward. reward. And of course, as you guys know, one of the rules is uh, once they use uh, the de these decks this week, they are not allowed to use the decks uh, this upcoming week, the next week. So, uh, you know, the Kaiba White Dragons, their opponent, will not be facing Klee's, and or is facing the the Kite, Galaxy Photons will not be facing Madoches. It's a little bit scary on Luna's part. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't have to face his Tier 3, which he still get his uh, Tier 1 or Tier 2. What is Lunar's tier, tier 1? I completely forgot. You had it up. Lunar's Tier 1, let me get to the video, is... I completely forgot. <laughs> yeah. Lunar's Tier 1 is Clown Blade. Oh, so yeah, so he is dead as Tier 1, alright. Which, of mm -hmm. course, uh, we are using the April list, so yes, he does have the Lava Chain, people. So we'll go ahead and see the busted shit. You know, we'll see how All three of them. Are. Yep, we'll see how busted uh, the Lava Chain is and, you know, determine whether some, you know, it's a nice way to go ahead and determine whether some hits were worthy or not. So, there oh, is yeah. that stealth, and, uh... Luna is not in a happy bunny anymore. No, like, unless Luna has some kind of back or a geki, uh, that, that, I mean, I, I don't think there's any way he can get around the stealth. So the snuggle, no. the snuggles might be real. The snuggles might be real. So... He had that powerful stealth. Gonna go ahead and kill a monster, draw two. I'd like, kill clearly. the X-Saber if I were right. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah, and, and clearly, uh, Klee is definitely worthy of that tier one spot, you know. Uh, what would you say Klee's are? Right I'd now? say, what, out of the top five decks? Yeah, the top five. I'd say it goes Necros. I'd say Klee's are number either two or three. I'm not sure. I'm not sure between them and Burning Abyss. Mm. Wavering nice Eyes good too because they keep their resources. Yeah, Wavering Eyes definitely helped in the matchup. You know, they go fire. Yeah. You just train that Wavering Eyes. Like I said, Wavering Eyes because it's the quick quest spells made it more uh, over more, more of a defensive card. You know, so uh, you just like just like what Ryan did went ahead and set it and. You know, just go ahead and chain it up. So your opponent goes Fire Lake and targets your scale, which of course is the reason why Cleese had such a hard time against uh, Burning the Base. You can just go chain the uh, Wavering Eyes. So yeah, so same thing. And, so. and you know, and that first turn kill. I mean, that's it. Scoop it up, Burning Base. That's it. GG. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, first turn kill. That's it for like most decks. I think the only deck I can see getting out of a first turn killer is Necros with uh, friggin' Decisive Armor. Yeah, but even then. But even then, with one shrit, that means they'd have to run the triple rotor for consistency to search it as well. Yeah, so the snuggles are still real. 
never the theory I don't. I don't think Shrek going down to one did anything really. Not enough. Not enough. It was because all they're, all they're going to do now is just say, okay, well, I'm going to just take. They weren't playing rotor really before. They're just going to take two rotor, slap it in place, so they can use that to search either Shrek or Clawsless. You know, it's just like, okay, well, Shrek is that one, but you know, they some decks. You know, of course, you can banish it with uh with your oh. regular mirror. Well, did he talk that at Anjali? I have no idea. I think he searched it. Oh, mm. damn. I'm not even paying attention. We're all just sitting here discussing. Oh, we are. We're, we're bad. That's fine. It's fine. Nothing major is Actually, happening. I had an interesting question, actually. Uh, I got a PM the other day on YouTube about the uh, the league. Are we allowing mulligans once per match for each player? Like, if they open really shitty and there's nothing they can do, they can have a mulligan and reveal their hand and then yeah. re redo that. Yeah, we can are do we that. Are we allowing that? We can do that. All right then, new rule. We're allowing mulligans. We'll allow so mulligans. One each person, once per match. Once, once per match, because you know, before we get to the whole competitive scene and you know who's going to be the winner of the league, we're here for entertainment value, and that's not entertaining at all. No, it's just see someone lose because they open complete shit. Yep. So. Oh yeah. I definitely want to see what uh, Lunar is going to do here. Uh, it definitely seems like maybe he'll pull off a tiramisu, maybe spin back the scout and the monolith, get rid of them, and then possibly summon something that's stronger than 28 to run it over. Uh, what does this do? It gives them an additional 500 and how strong is tiramisu? She's only 27 now, though, so she's still not strong enough to get rid of that stealth just by attacking, but... Uh, she <laughs> <can> <laughs> get rid of the pendulum scales again. Yeah, yeah. Definitely put in a work lunar, you know. I'm already oh, yeah. regretting allowing you to make this your tier 3 deck. <laughs> I completely yeah. forgot. I completely it's like, forgot oh, and now I'll get it to do it again. Tiramisu all yeah. day, every day. Why not? <laughs> yeah. And, then, and, and you know, how the tournament system works. The top decks are in the, the YCS division, the bottom decks in the regional division. Then when the playoffs, that's, of course, nationals. And then the finals is worlds. And then whoever wins worlds gets hit. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Just nerfed for next season, yes. <laughs> Wow, so you just go ahead and, wow, slap her on top and run his ass yeah, over. Damn! Yeah, she can Woo! make a tiramisu. For... Oh my god, mm. Lunar! Now, you, now you're seeing why I said that fucking Chocolate mode is good, aren't you? I'm, I'm seeing it now. I, I regret you're everything You're like, oh my god. He was putting that work with the Chocolate mode. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, I, I, you know, I was kind of worried. I was kind of worried that we wouldn't even get the goodness. That this duel was going to be over in a flash and... Lunar yeah, the, I, was, I was really worried that Rain would just go drop killer and it'd be like, GG, shake my hand. Yeah, right. Gonna go ahead and summon carrier. Set a card. Set a card. Mm. The set, you know what the sad thing is? Even if he has skill drain. <laughs> so hopefully he has something backing it up. I'm assuming one of those is the mirror force. It just, it, it, the bait seems too perfect, you know? So I'm assuming one of them set cards is the mirror force. Yeah. I don't see why he wouldn't be. Mm-hmm. Or a TT or something like that, hoping the Lunar will just overextend, like, play his, uh, what's it, Levy Aravat? Yeah, yeah. If he overextends, then he can get TT'd and... Mm-hmm. Uh, nope, he's a... No, 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 he's just gonna go straight into the battle TT's, uh, TT's becoming good again, I like it. So it's good in Ritual Beast as well, TT because... TT is the best one. Yeah, TT's, TT's better. TT's, TT's, TT's be of course, better than Dark Hole. TT's better than Redeki. Yeah, because it's just uh, mm -hmm. And not only that, but you can be dirty with it in uh, Ritual Beast, because what you can do when your opponent does something, you chain the you know fusion monster effect to tag out, and then while it's tagged out, you can chain the Regeki and wipe their field, and then you get the monsters out. You want to rephrase that? What? You want me to restate that? What do you mean? You said Regeki. Mean TT. <laughs> like you can chain the regeki. Wins. All right, yeah, lunar five. wins round one. Wow, and you guys, That's you guys it. just saw the time you were like, wow, <laughs> cookies versus Madoche. Like, damn, just... oh. wow. What do you mean you're bad? That was beautiful. That was that was that was entertaining, of course. Yeah, that was oh, pretty good. Oh, he said it's a single. Oh, okay, oh. okay. <laughs> of course, uh, they're going to be signing up. Gonna go ahead and pause it and come back. Game two. I'm All right, game two. So the fighting is done. So, so this is for all the marbles. And here we go. So all right. Damn, it, into the it, void. I'm glad I got my three copies. <laughs> yeah. Whew. So expensive. Here you go. Lunar's like, oh shit. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there's that summons art. So time to get wrecked. Mm. So the thing. The, Oh no! I was about to say the thing is he can he could he could have went into his uh, chocolate mode and had the shield split be three thousand, but nope, that minus five hundred. So 
Mm, I think if he has first turn kill, I think that might be game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unless Lunar, I don't unless Lunar is sided for it or something like that. I don't, I don't rec remember Lunar. How, how do you, how it. do you side for first turn killer? Like, unless you run, you just put a card in that can get around killer. There are enough cards. There are a few cards anyway. Yeah. But remember, your side deck, you gotta you only get one side deck. You gotta prepare for prepare for everybody. You know? Like yeah, really, I, know. I mean siding for killer which is one only one team has it and it's not even guaranteed that you're gonna go against the deck, you know? For all you know, you can fucking have a side deck prepared to beat killer and you duel and when you duel against Ryan, he's not even using Cleese. Yeah, that's true. All right, so yep, here we go. Here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Definitely yep, got it. GG. All right, Luna, it's time to win. Yep, GG, Luna. Let's go on the round three. Yep, one, a two, a three. Oh, oh, well, that works. Oh, well, that, that sucks then. Yeah, this card is good in Cleese, of course, but then with the instant avoid, it's a hindrance because you know you still got pitch your hand in the end phase. So yep, tribute those three. Bam, killer. So I'm assuming Ryan's not going to get the search. There's really no point, because you got to pitch your hand anyway, so. Unless he's running, like, you know, like, I don't even know. Yeah, add a clean monster, and you got to pitch throwing in phase, no point. And, of course, blind the pressure already, effect, making Luna he's tick. He's going for the effect, damn. Right. Yeah, already. The Luna, you got to pitch your monster out of your hand before you even tick in your turn. Like, that, that tower turbo, that tower turbo. And Ryan's actually going to go search for a monster, which is dumb, because you got to pitch your hand. Yeah, and I don't get that. But I well. wouldn't. Yeah, search first, and <laughs> yeah, because that's the way order goes. Like, killer can't even activate its effect until uh, sacrifice results, unless you don't want sacrifice effect. <laughs> and I would say no, you don't. Damn, he's gonna grab the cephalopod and I guess pitch it, because why not? I mean, the the only way I see Luna getting out of this is if he summon if he has the Medolce field spell and he has pudding dice with no monsters in the graveyard. Because that's the only way I see him getting out of it. Because uh, Pudding Sass increases them by 800 if you don't have any monsters in the graveyard. Oh, okay. And the field spell would be 500. So the 500 off the field spell would be mitigated. You know, then you'd have the Pudding Sass, and then you'd have to put a uh, Chocoella mode on top of a Tiramisu, and then it'd boost it over 3,000. Pudding Sass gives the... all monsters 800? It gives all Medolce monsters 800. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure when this card is possession, it's destroyed. It's not destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, it's just sun. It's just sun. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan's more on the ball. Because the, the possession part is right, but it says it's destroyed by your opponent's card effect, either by battle mm -hmm. by card effect. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I, I I just I don't know I don't know maybe it's just me I just don't know if Luna can get out of this you know I don't know like I said, it depends it depends if he can get a pudding sass on the board while getting rid of that messenger lotto and he can get his field spell up and he can also make a friggin oh, look at the uh, chocolate mode then he there can get another yeah. killer like, he got to say you're like damn yeah damn yeah, like, the good no. thing is Luna gets to go ahead and uh go ahead and uh start uh for the third round so maybe he can go ahead and have the side to get ready the, the thing is i wonder if uh ryan here is gonna take out turbo or not because now since Luna knows that he can go turbo it's not wise to allow ryan to go first again because he'll just tower you know killer turbo you again so it might be best to go ahead and have Luna start and maybe he'll have something to stop it I don't know. Mm. I'll find out. So, <sighs> we'll be back in a sec. All right, people. Huh? So we are back, round three, and uh, yeah, I'm like, Luna, Luna, go ahead and take first. He should definitely take first because the problem is if you allow, you know, Ryan to go first, he could be running Tower Turbo again. But see, hopefully, Luna, please tell me that one set card is enough because now you pretty much gave him six cards to Tower Turbo you. But I just don't know if Ryan. It looks like Ryan went back to just regular Cleese. Yeah. What kind mm -hmm. of he, 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 he was like, you know what, game one, I mean, I'm going to go f first, and Tower Turbo, that's the thing. Tower Turbo is just that sacky shit. Like, you, you go ahead and you side in all this anti cliche shit, and uh, they just Tower Turbo your ass. This really sucks, and it's just like, wow, uh, okay, I don't know what you're doing there, Ryan. Okay, you're, this is clearly main face, too. <laughs> He's going to go ahead and play the shell, and then just turn. That's it. Wow. 
All right, weird, but sure. Yeah, really weird. So, I've never seen someone play a shell and, you know. So, I can't tell if he went back to Turbo again. Because I, no. I, I don't know. I, I think he's still Does in... they run it either way? The thing is, I'm, I'm thinking he might still be in Turbo just because I generally don't see multiple shells, you know? Like, when you're not in Turbo, I mean, who runs more than one shell, right? Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm not trying to reveal Ryan's deck or anything. I'm just trying to think if he runs more than one shell. All right, so. I would say, what, are you attributing him or something? <laughs> like, oops. Like I said, how bad did... Maybe Lunar didn't... I'm not sure if Lunar opened up bad, or is he just taking it slow, or... Do, do, we, do you want me to say about the mulligan rule? Yeah, we should probably announce the mulligan rule. All right, hang on, hang on. I'll, you tell him to hang on. All right, all right. Yeah. All right, people, so we have to go ahead and stop, so... Uh, uh, we pretty much, uh, we explained it, but yeah, there's a mulligan rule. Uh, we want to make this entertaining, of course. And, uh, clearly Lunar opened up pretty bad, so he has yeah, to reveal his, reveal his uh, entire mul- hand, and it's mulligan. Yeah, and, oh, Ryan doesn't know. Ryan doesn't know. Yeah, so. so uh, we told right. Ryan, though. He said mulligan rule. Yeah, he's per- typing now. Yeah. Hmm. So, well, once, once per match, so. Hey, you know what the funny thing is? Lunar opens up really well next duel, and Ryan opens up like shit. He can just yeah, use the mulligan and reset it, and then Lunar might open up shit. Yeah. I think we should tweak it though. I think yeah, you know maybe... I'm gonna say opening hand because clearly you know that was our fault. We that was our fault. So apologize. Yeah, that was our it's fault. The first so we'll episode. Let it slide this we'll time. let it slide, but yeah. Uh, tell him. Uh, hold on, hold on. We'll we'll come right back. All right. So mulligan rule. Uh, active. So, I guess Luna should just draw four cards, and then Ryan should end his turn. Or, quick, do not draw, because right now it's on Ryan's turn, but Lunar's going first. Yeah, so... <laughs> so... Yeah, tell Luna to disable the thing. Um, yeah. To, you know, unclick the draw. So, stick or Molly? Damn, Molly. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and ask him if he's going to stick on Molly. Okay. I like my hand. Okay, so they're both sticking. All right. All right, they're both sticking. So, Ryan's not gonna use his mulligan. Uh, Lunar goes first. Hold on. All right. So, like I said, that was our fault. So yes, the mulligan has to be used in your opening hand before we get way too deep in the duel because that was pretty much unfair. Because that was a bit. Du- that was a bit deep. But so. that was that was our fault. That was our fault. <laughs> we said it in the video, and then we didn't tell him. So, uh, Lunar went ahead and used his mulligan. Uh, Ryan says he's good with the hand, so he's not gonna use the mulligan. So. Uh, like yep. I said, it, it's entertainment first before even this whole thing. And clearly, that, that last duel didn't seem like it's going to go anywhere. We're not going to end this climactic third round with some stupidity. With Luna just getting a <laughs> shitty hand <laughs> getting wrecked. Yeah, like, no. Nah. Well, oh, well, but they both said they opened up not that great. Yeah, Ryan I think, I think towers, Ryan. So. Yeah, Ryan said he opened up both towers. So they like, both one tower is fine. That's one card less you got to draw, but. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, my tower turbo, I'm not even sure if I want to play the two towers just because I don't want to draw them both. Yeah. It's bad enough. Like if I if I don't open chances up a scout are, and open up be real tower, life though with you, chances are you're yeah. not gonna draw them both. So. I'm just talking about in no. real life. You know? I'd say on Dian and Devro, yeah, run it at one because number generator. If one card less to draw, and you'll probably get it. But in real life, probably run it too. The problem with no running number. into that too is that even despite drawing it, if I don't even get the scout, you can't pull off the tower play anyway. Like you need scout is necessary to pull it off. You just need that additional uh, card. You need that plus off a of scout to pull it off the play. So, mm. drawing, even drawing into one scout, I mean, one towers, and nothing else is bad. So, okay, it's pretty obvious that uh, uh, Ryan has wavering eyes because he played the other scale before the scout. So, even if Lunar chains like an MST or something like that, he could just chain the wavering eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hang on. Right. What would it work in reverse, though? Say, like, Ryan goes ra- wavering eyes, and that's an MST set, and Luna goes chain the MST on one of them and destroys it before wavering eyes. And wavering eyes would technically only destroy one, and he wouldn't get to search, would he? Mm, yes, that's correct. All right, so, so that's let's the re- see if so Luna that's knows the- that. So, see, all right, so Lunar. Luna, if that's an MST, you better chain it. No, he says that's fine. Okay. Like I said, it- that hopefully that one piece of background is something to stop him because if it's not, here comes Killer again. Like the, the tower is so strong, it's too strong, too strong. So, of course, he's gonna go ahead and switch out scout for scout. I think my mom is fucking dying. <laughs> yeah, she. Yeah, uh, yeah. Might need to call. I, I was like, I was like, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and record while they're out. 
and then they and come. And then came back? Of course. Of course. And then they always want to fuck around and make noise like, I can't wait to move out and get my own house. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I cannot wait. The damn scout. So, is this it, Lunar? Is this it? Because, of course, if he drops another freaking... If he drops towers again, that's it. Sucks, you're not going to get your point. But, you know, at least, you know, Ryan won't get three points. But I, I would love to see the Toasty be pleased, but it just looks like Tower Turbo might be a little bit too strong for him. You know, and it, it sucks, it sucks, because we looked at uh, Lunar's side deck, and he definitely had some answers. It just sucks he didn't open up with it. We're just going to go ahead and search Sacrifice. That's fine. Interesting, so I'm assuming that you already have the killer in the monolith. Yep, yeah, there's the monolith. Please tell me that's like a black horn lunar. Is that a black horn? <laughs> um <laughs> That'd be beautiful if it is. A morning it would bottomless. Be. It would be, but um I'm I'm gonna say no it isn't. Pendulum summon. Equip the sacrifice tribute. Killer again, GG. Damn, Lunar, what is that card? It's not an MST, it's not, what is that? I want to know what that card is. It's got to be a Decree. <sighs> Why would he keep in Decree? Like, please don't tell me he kept in Decree. Because he might have thought that Ryan would go and bat row and maybe, I don't know, it's late, it's Lunar's fault if he... Yeah, because Lunar, you're the one going first, so you should have you fucking just hit him with the goodness. Mm-hmm. So, here we go. Here comes Killer. Yep, here comes Killer. All right. Bam again. Yep. Sacrifice. Go ahead and search. Draw two during the end phase. Make him send. I I'd probably go ahead and kill the, kill the uh, Magellan. Make her go back to the deck and then use killer effect in main phase two. Just to make yeah. the Lunar lose resources, but I think this might be it. It's sad, it's sad. Lunar did uh, so well round one and just. He did. Lunar did so great round one, but. If if he did keep the decrees in, then that's Luna's bad, really. That really is. Like, I... Considering that we know his side deck, there's so many cards he could have sided in. Mm -hmm. So many cards, so. I, it doesn't look like Luna's backing down. It doesn't look like he's like, yep, that's it. So, yeah, it's going to go ahead and smack. I think Luna's just stay doing this anyway just to go down in style, pretty much. I don't think he wants to go that's it, that's and be anticlimactic, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, we took that. Go ahead and put that uh, Magellan back to the deck and pick out another monster. Hopefully you have a monster in your hand or else, of course, Ryan gets to go ahead and look at your hand. Oh, so, uh, kitty bye, cat. kitty cat. Yeah, bye, kitty cat. Monolith, draw two. Damn, it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> look at that pressure. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right, Lunar. Like I said, if, if if you kept in that row of the creed, that was your fault. That was totally your fault. Mm-hmm. So, it looks like Ryan definitely still stuck with Tower Turbo. Yeah. Which, of course, is definitely risky. Game three. Damn. Then Luna skips it. Damn, that's just it. That's yeah. just done with. Yeah, All right. It. He... He did keep the Royal Decree. Why? I knew it was. Oh, my God. Luna. Lunar, you're side and you so can't... Mm. Why are you so bad? I don't want to reveal your side, Luna, but... Oh, on. my God. Uh, yep, we know. Damn. 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 Wow, that trade-in was super fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so... There we go. So, Ryan goes ahead and gets one point for his Tier 1 deck beating a Tier 3, but it was so good round 1. Damn. Yeah, it was, but I know, that's just how it is. Yep, that's how it is. So, uh, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the first uh, match of the league, ep season one, week one, match one <laughs> of, <laughs> of the Every league. Door one. <laughs> of the league. Yeah, door one was good. <laughs> yeah, but door one was good. Count the killer too strong, so of course. Oh, yeah. Next week, week two, uh, whoever... Uh, uh, faces Lunar, Ryan is not. Yeah, whoever faces Ryan, Ryan will not be using Cleese, and whoever faces Lunar, Lunar will not be using Dolce. If you guys want to know uh, the matchups, the link is in the description. Also, everybody's channel, including Stanzi's, link's in the description. So, uh, I hope that you guys are hyped. We got a lot more duels to go, but I think this was totally fine for a first episode. Uh, yeah, what do you think, Stanzi? Yeah, I think this was a good first episode. I just think it's a bit unfortunate, Lunar. Uh, 
kind of got fucked over by towers, but hey, if that's, you know, yeah. if we wanted to go tier 3 against it, then that's yeah. Luna's own choice. Yep, yeah. so. Really? And it sucks that he put he left the Royal Decrees in. I would have sided in. I would have definitely sided, sided the in. Decrees out. Like, yeah. hell yeah. Hell yeah. Luna had the hate, he just didn't put it in, so his bad. Yep, Luna did have the, uh, the hate for the, for the, for the, uh, for the Pendulum, queen, yeah, for the queen, yeah. yeah, he did. So, uh, hopefully Lunar can go ahead and get his revenge next time, uh, if Lunar makes it to the playoffs, and if Ryan makes it to the playoffs, that's when they'll face each other again. But we'll talk more about the playoffs when we get closer to that. So, uh, thank you, Stanzi, for joining me. Alright, no problem. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, make sure you like this video show your support and uh yeah we, we got uh three more episodes one more today and then two more tomorrow and sunday for uh, week one so look forward to it all right people thanks for watching